got onions. Yes, and <laughs> butter. Welcome back to Good yes. Day. And it's a very good day when Amanda can snack and tap into her Polish roots. It's yes, very good day. Yeah, Tom Fress of the Northwest Ohio Polish Cultural Center and Irene Ammerman of Bush's Pierogi Shack are here with a delicious fundraiser coming up. And I am very happy to be able to sample anything ahead of time. So um, I see some pierogi in the pan, but we're gonna make a little bit too. So first of all, Tom, this is a, a fundraiser for the cultural center that you all have been working on getting built. Absolutely, uh, Irene came to me and said, I would love to be able to throw a fundraiser <laughs> for the Polish Cultural Center. Um, what do I have to do? I said, just do what you do best. <laughs> yes, yes. So she'll be giving a great Polish meal. We're gonna have uh, guamki, which is stuffed cabbage, mm. kielbasa, um, pierogi, of course, mm -hmm. and a lot of other things, plus 50-50 raffles and, and, a, and, and raffling off some great Polish pottery by Three Wise Bushas and such. It's gonna be a great time. Malszewski's will be there with their uh, special rub that they do now. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great time. Oh, wonderful. Oh, speaking my language. Yeah, yeah so, speaking uh, my language. Let's talk about Polish culture and pierogies. What do pierogies mean for Polish culture? Is it every Polish family, you're going to have pierogi? Yeah, pretty much. That's it. <laughs> it, it happened it, in my family, okay, that's so, for sure. So, so for me, is there uh, different uh, ways to cook this, stuff it, uh, flavors, seasonings? Um, well, I have a menu there and it's got 14 flavors that we sell at the Toledo Farmer's Market. 14? Yes. I'm sure. And I have heard them. great things about your pierogi, especially as I go to the Farmer's Market and get hers, and I haven't been there, so I'm so glad you came to me today. So I, I see an amazing rolling <laughs> Steven, huge. do you see this? Yes, I do. So um, <laughs> those look a little small for this thing. So, uh, well, well, we make them by the hundreds. Okay. Right. Every day, so, so you have some dough here, right? That yes. I, I, and maybe I can roll some out. What do you think? Or yes. No? We okay. Can, we can do that. Let's do something here. Oh, I need around. my gloves. Let me grab so some gloves. Flour, you're gonna have I was seeing roll out the barrel, but it's roll out the pierogi. <laughs> roll out the pierogi. All right. Okay, so you have 14 different kinds. What do you what do you have in there stuffed today? We have potato onion. Potato onion. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured that was a pretty That's popular pretty one. That's pretty popular. So you want to get some flour on your gloves. What, what are some of the other popular uh, pierogi? Oh, all of them that we make, <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, that's easy. Um, we, ha we have buffalo chicken. We have sauerkraut. Do we want to um, just put it on the counter here? Yeah, you have to put it on the counter. Also, we cleaned it up. We're good. Irene actually does a special one using local flavors. Tony Paco's pierogi. Oh, yes, I do that. It's a really good one. Nice. Should I just take some out? Yes. Okay. Some. Just take a. So, uh, Amanda, did you? Uh, did yeah. you I'm switching the interview. So, did yeah. you grow up uh, doing this at home, like no, making pierogi? No, but I watched my bopsi do it. Okay. So That's your she, grandmother, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, where the region we're from is um, we didn't say Boucher, we said Bopshi, but you know, both mean grandma. And we had a Polish picnic, because you know those are very popular, and yeah. she always was in the basement of the church making these babies for the yes. Polish picnic, so I would watch them come do that. So okay. how flat do you want to get these? About an eighth of an inch. Ooh, I got some work to do. And um, I put flour the on there. The trick is that yep. they, Thank you. they come back when you roll. They when you do, roll. don't they? they? <laughs> But you have a lot of practice doing this. Oh, yes. Yes, so you would get these about an eighth of an inch and then you stuff, right? And then you pinch? Yep, right? yep. And then you for we always fork our edge also there after we is. pinch to make sure that they're sealed. Okay, I know that this isn't quite right, but I'm gonna go with it for the sake of TV. <laughs> How is Amanda doing? So, <laughs> She's doing great. Okay. Says, Let right. me do you it. gotta use the cutter first and cut a few out. Oh, okay. Where's Bopsy when you need her? There you go. I know. Uh, there we go. Okay, so, so that's what we want to do first. Yeah. Okay. Pull this off, and then we stuff. So, put, I, my easiest thing is put it in your hand. Okay. Put the, and then get a scoop. Okay. And it's usually a level scoop, and then put it right in the center. Mmm, that's a that's a pretty good stuff on there. Yes. And then okay. what I do is I kind of pull them from both ends and connect them. Oh boy. We want to know what you do because you're the professional. Right. You have right. 14 different flavors that everyone loves. And then you pinch with the fork? Nope. You pinch nope. with your fingers first. Oh, first. Okay. All the way around to make sure it looks sealed. And then you're going to take the fork and fork. All, all right. Around. 
I didn't do too bad. He's burning our pierogi. All right, cool. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> flip it yeah. or don't let it burn. Yeah, yeah don't let it burn. Yeah, and I didn't either. put them in the boiling water first, so that's my fault. No, they, we already boil them in our process. Okay, great. There we go. Bob's you gonna say it, it looks really good. So, where can folks find find you? Um, the only place we sell our product is at the Toledo Farmers Market on Saturday. So that's why you got to go to the fundraiser. When is that's that? Right. How do that get is uh, April the 30th. Um, best way to get tickets is go to Irene's Facebook. Facebook page, which is uh, Bush's Pierogi Shack or the Polish American Community of Toledo. We both have links onto our Facebook pages for this fundraiser. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you all have been working on this cultural center, but why is it so important to get this opened here in, in Toledo? A good, a good example. My children, we live in Sylvania. I grew up in La Grenca area, mm -hmm. okay? My children have no connection to what oh. made me and proud of my mm -hmm. Polish heritage mm -hmm. other than what I'm introducing into our home. Mm -hmm. The idea is that we will have great classes, we'll have Polish classes, we will have uh, learn your genealogy, um, a bunch of, mm -hmm. you know, the, the uh, Echoes of Poland dancers mm -hmm. could uh, perform there. So we need these places to remember our heritage and to expand on it there's as well. a huge community here. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to mention that. There's mm -hmm. such a huge Polish community right one, here in Toledo. One in three in Northwest Ohio traces their history back to being, our heritage back to being Polish American. So it is important that we get to celebrate that in all areas. Yes. Okay, and what are you adding to that? Sour right cream. Now? Okay. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Amanda. I'm getting in there. So, um, I'm losing my train of thought because it's I've got all right. Go, here. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And, go ahead and eat. So, are there going to be different activities at this cultural center as well? Yes. The, the idea would be it would not only have um, a a banquet oh, facility, oh. so mm. you can have a wedding there or an event there. there. We, we can also you can also water. have um, a restaurant okay. that we're planning on doing, having <laughs> there. Uh, we have a lounge there. So, let's say after a mud hens game or a, a walleye game, you can go down there and relax. The plan mm. is eventually uh, for Fourth of July, you can hang out there and watch the fireworks downtown. So these are a lot of activities that we're looking for the community to be able to have access to. The location of the, of the center would be great. It's right across the street from the new Glass City Metro mm. Park. Okay. So it's an awesome location. Mm. Couldn't ask for a better location. Yeah. Lucia, delicious. Thank you so oh, much boy, for feeding you. me this morning. I appreciate <laughs> it. Get those tickets for the fundraiser and we can't wait to see it done when it's when it's Absolutely. It's, You'll absolutely. be there for the ribbon breaking. I, yeah, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming today, folks. Thanks for feeding us. We'll be right back with more Good day. Mm, yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. I will. Keep going.